Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to learn how to find string in all store procedures in SQL Server database. This is very important. Let's say we are, we are considering to change the table name or view name and we want to make sure in which store procedure this table or view is used so we can take care of that part. Second, let's say we are interested to find all the store procedure which are created by some specific developer and the name of those developers are in the comments of store procedure. So how we can get that information. So let's go to the SSMS. Here I have a test database and I have created some store procedure. So I have get customer, get customer one and two. Let's take a look on the definition. So here we have comments uh, say creator name is equal to Amir and then uh, we have another one say creator name is equal to Amir. These are the comments what we have here and I want to find out uh, all those store procedure where it has uh, Amir in them. So how I can do that? SQL Server provide us this different uh, system tables and system views. Uh, those uh, store these information. Uh, they store the definition information uh, or DDL information uh, that we use for creating a store procedure, view, function, etc. So let's uh, take a look on a couple of them. So we have sys.sql uh, modules. So here, if you will take a look, uh, you have two modules, SQL modules and system SQL modules. So first, uh, uh, if we select system modules, uh, let me show you what they are. So in the system modules, uh, you have the definition for all other system store procedures, functions or view or whatnot. So you would not, uh, you, uh, you really do not need to see these information um, to find uh, your uh, username or comments because you are not creating these objects so they are created by the system so what we need here we need the other one that's called only SQL modules that is going to show us only the user information so here we have created some store procedures and I'm interested in finding Amir in the definition so I can use this one as a definition like and then I, I can put uh, what I'm looking for. I'm looking for Amir. So it is a, it did return me two store procedures. So it returned me this one. I can uh, read the store procedure name from here. Uh, create procedure this one. And uh, this is where I can see that I can copy and paste and wherever I want to and take a look. So I can paste here and uh, this is will this will show me uh, the store procedure definition or uh, function definition or view definition. One of the other system table SQL Server provide us that's called sys comments. And one more thing I would like to tell you here if we are running this one I can get the object name from the object ID. If I'm interested to get the object name so object underscore name and then I can use object ID as a uh, object name comma definition so this is going to return me the object name and definition now th th this is where I can see my these are my store procedures and this is the definition since that comments uh, is going to return a pretty, mu pretty much the same information but here the column uh, which is storing the definition is uh, different it is called a text where txt like Amir if you are looking for a table, you will uh, rem remove uh, Amir with the, your table name and then that will give you that information. The same object ID here can be converted to the object name if you want it. So we can copy this one, paste it here and, uh, and then we have text here and uh, we will be using ID here. If you guys remember that. Uh, Sometimes we use cross databases in the uh, store procedures and uh, if we want to uh, find out uh, which store procedure are using uh, those uh, different databases, uh, we can find that. If I would run this one, let's say this store procedure is pointing to sale database. So uh, one of the store procedure, uh, sorry, one of the table it is using or view it is using that is in the sales. So if I'm interested to find all store procedures uh, which has you uh, or are using a uh, sale database I can do something like that I can put sale here and then it will return me wherever it will find the sale keyword so that's how we can dig into the definitions of the objects what we have created and um, before we make a decision we can 
take a detailed look at how many objects will be affected or we need to take care with the name and changes of a table or a, store or a view if we have decided. Thanks very much for watching this video. The scripts will be available in the description as well as in the blog post. I'm going to put the link in the description. Thanks. Bye.